What is MGM Plus? Now you may have seen the ads for it and wondered what's going on. Do we really need another streaming service? Well, I have tried it out and I'm going to go through everything you need to know about it including whether it is worth signing up. Now, MGM Plus is actually a rebrand of the premium cable network and streaming service that was previously known as Epix. The reason for this rebrand is that Amazon now owns Epix and they're trying to inject a little more oomph and a little more value into it by making new shows and pushing a new marketing campaign. And they apparently thought that the MGM branding would be a little more recognizable than Epix. On MGM Plus, you can watch all of their movies and TV shows completely ad-free, save for some short promotions for other TV shows on the service, which you can usually skip past. Now their content selection is a little more limited. By my count, there are about 250 movies that you can watch with your subscription. These include movies from MGM as well as from Paramount. You'll find recent blockbusters like Top Gun Maverick, The Lost City, No Time to Die, House of Gucci, Smile, Jackass Forever, and Orphan First Kill. There's also a library of movies from throughout Hollywood history, including The Wolf of Wall Street, Silence of the Lambs, Rocky, Twelve Angry Men, Fiddler on the Roof, Star Trek Into Darkness, quite a few movies that you will know and recognize. And for horror fans, there are a selection of MGM Plus original films that you will only find on the streaming service produced by Blumhouse Productions. Now, as for their original TV shows, some of their most popular shows include Godfather of Harlem. This is a historical crime drama that stars Forrest Whitaker tells the true story of the crime boss Barry Johnson as he returns to Harlem after getting out of prison in the early 1960s. There's also Billy the Kid, which is a Western series based on the infamous American Outlaw. One of my personal favorites is the show From. This comes from the uh, Russo brothers that are known for their Marvel projects and various different movies, but it is a thriller horror series about this town where anyone who drives through it gets stuck there permanently and the town is haunted by these monsters. So if you like shows like The Last of Us or The Walking Dead, this is definitely going to be up your alley. There's also some shows that were produced in the UK and in France, such as War of the Worlds, which is based on the classic novel. Now, as for upcoming shows, this is something that they plan to really amp up the production of now that they are owned by Amazon. There's going to be a new show from the creator of Godfather of Harlem called Hotel Cocaine, which is a 1980s set crime drama. There's an apocalyptic show called arc and what's most interesting to fans of the marvel movies is there's actually going to be a series that takes place in the spider-man universe called silk spider society and it comes from the walking dead's angela kang as for the price of mgm plus there is just one standard membership which is 5.99 a month after a seven day free trial or if you want to prepay for a year, you can get that for $49.99. You can subscribe to MGM Plus on its own through their streaming service. You can get it as an add-on channel through things like Amazon Prime channels, where it is heavily being marketed right now. Or, of course, you can also get it with a cable package where you get the cable channels that were previously known as Epix, as well as access to their streaming. Now you might wonder, what did happen to those cable channels? Well, they still exist, but they have now been rebranded with MGM Plus as well. And if you're subscribed to MGM Plus, you can watch all four of these live channels through their app as well. Now, as far as the features of the app itself, if you're looking to watch content in 4K, their selection is very, very limited. There are a few movies and TV shows you can watch, but there are some, such as the films from Paramount, which you can watch in 4K on other platforms, but not on MGM+. There is support for offline downloads as well as parental controls, However, they do not have individual profiles. Now, what are my thoughts about MGM Plus? 
I do like their movie selection. I think there's a lot of good movies in there. The issue is a lot of these movies overlap with Paramount Plus and with Prime Video. So if you're already subscribed to Prime Video and Paramount Plus, I think it might be overkill to subscribe to MGM Plus. That is until they add on some other movies. Now, I do really like the shows on here that I've watched, like From and War of the Worlds. I think it's really promising to see the directions that they'll take with MGM Plus. And I know I'll definitely keep an eye on MGM Plus as time goes on to see what new shows they come up with. So what are your thoughts? Have you tried out MGM Plus? Let me know what your experiences were like down in the comment section below. As always, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things streaming. I want to thank you so much for watching today. I hope you all have a good one. Bye-bye.